this game. Evil two. Back to end. Is there more to say about Anthem? I was hoping it would be more open world. Isn't it going to be? Open? I thought it was the whole thing is. Virus outbreak in Raccoon City. Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G virus. However, Ada! Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. Nightmare that was once Raccoon City. You know, I heard Warframe is a pretty good game. Not only, okay, not only does she have a, a sweet ponytail that she rocks like perfectly, she's also a biker chick. That's how you know she's a badass in the uh, like old game. Oh, and of course, you know, the short shorts. <gasps> Finally here. Axico instead of Texaco. That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, this is very different. Makes sense, we're seeing it from her side. Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? <laughs> Got a nice bullet. <laughs> Wait, don't shoot Get down. <gasps> we can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. That's some shit, Locke. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Ah! No! Yeah! Look out! If only there's a passenger with a gun. I could have shot the zombie. <laughs> I love the way it just slides straight out. Completely okay. stiff as a board. Still in one piece. He's a zombie now. Claire! Leon! I'm okay. Head to the 
station. I'll meet you there. Okay. Mm, I don't think she's going to be as lucky as we were with Leon, how we got the, the shotgun, like, right away. At the same time, same place, you have to survive this nightmare. Know the true end. We gotta go down and to the right. All right, we're gonna avoid things like last time. No, nerf, nerf. I'll do my best to do well, but like I said, I've never played. I've only ever played the Leon side of things. I don't know what to expect. Uh, that's the side that that door Leon opens up, and then got zombies that came through it that one time. By the looks of it. Zombie through these. Will you take the cabin key? able to turn fast enough. He seems to move a little bit faster than uh, Leon. Yeah, this is that place. There's a lot of pinups in these old games. Have you ever noticed that? These are supposed to be your friends. Yeah, I don't think zombie police are necessarily all that friendly though. An old typewriter. Do we want to use it now or wait a little bit? Because I think the number of saves affects your score. You know what? Yeah, we'll start now just so if we do die, we don't have to do that whole intro again. But I'll try not to save as often. Just so that, you know. Nothing special. Oh, what we need is more ammo. The bank's raid ending? Oh no, I like having this many viewers. It's Is the helicopter already down on the roof burning? Oh, to be. Hey, get over here! Hurry! I can't set her down. I'll drop you a rope ladder. Grab onto it. Come on. Just a little more. Uh, uh, get off me! Stay back. Don't come any closer. Stay back. Well, at least we won't have to fight those zombies. All right. We have the gun equipped, at least we do. Okay. Browning HP, manufactured by FN Belgium. Nine millimeter pair bottle. Is that the exact same gun as the uh, Leon got? I thought his looked different. But maybe I'm just thinking because I'm used to seeing the uh, modified version. And we don't have a way to use this. To... Through door number one. Yeah, 
well, I guess he doesn't realize you have to aim for their head, right? Apparently, zombie movies aren't as uh, big in this universe as ours. Oh, wow. Is this after all the birds actually crashed through here? He's been pecked to death. Stupid birds. Only we had, you know, coat hangers. Oh, we're not going to have the extra inventory space because I had Leon take the extra, the side pouch. Which means we'll end up with the submachine gun at that one point. Uh, there's that other door we could go through up top. I don't know if I want to go downstairs through that. Oh, dude. Does anybody remember what the password for that safe was? Maybe we can go open that safe up again. It's 2 2. 2 2 something 3, I think. Or 2 2 3 something. Too many. Oh, things are laid out differently. Got to made room in my inventory space. For that. Let's go put out the fire. Oh, we have to get past the birds again. Stupid birds. side she runs pretty quick I do feel like she moves around faster than Leon did I wonder if that means like he takes more like he's got more health he's faster type thing some of these old games would do things like that I like how they both put the fire out on the cop the helicopter the same way Wasn't the kind of ammo I was expecting. I hate that this takes up an inventory space, considering it shows it having a, a spot for her to hold the knife on her uniform. Uh, I don't really want to combine these. I'd rather save them. Hmm. I thought Leon's held 18 rounds. It must be a different gun. green then I guess that way we still have one green to combine with a red if we find a red I guess we're going to get a grenade launcher with her Um, 
thought that was the third game. Uh, <laughs> isn't that like Nemesis? That's Mr. X, not Nemesis? Okay. Still terrifying. I see now why they... I don't like him. Is he going to be hunting us through this whole freaking game? What was that? Hey, Cheshire, how's it going? Big scary guy, yeah. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. Well, this is where we need the, the virgin hearts or whatever. Can't carry any more answers. Um. Or, I thought we had ammo here. Or is that only if you're Leon? All right. Uh, I think I know where a safe room is so we can go drop stuff off. You think Mr. X is creepier than the Nemesis? From what I've seen there, I think I'd agree. There's no choice but to take out the wall. Does she think she can take that wall out? Okay, I'll give you this already. The Claire playthrough seems a lot scarier than Leon's. Like, we've been in here for like, what, two minutes, and we already have that guy hunting us? Secretary's Diary. April 6th, accidentally moved one of the stone statues, and the chief got mad. Right, I remember that one. Uh, if you guys really want to know what those say, let me know. I'll, I'll actually read them all out. But since we read them on the Leon playthrough, I'm going to not focus too heavily on them. we should keep this on us for now or not thinking we probably don't need it for a while are yet caution all right let's go get back and get that key card we missed I wonder if mr. X is actually like just random and current like is he actually hunting us or is he just that specific spot in the story we'll encounter him again and again if it's just specific spots he's not too bad but if he's actually like working his way through the mansion or uh, the police station and everything and we'll he could actually like follow us from room to room that would be terrifying Nope. If you don't have a shotgun, I am not fighting a, a liquor. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We're going to keep our pretty little ponytail safe for now. I've always had a weak spot for ponytails. They look cool. Like almost every one of my RPG characters in a game that lets you edit what they look like a little bit 
There's always one option that has a ponytail. I always pick it. Usually with red hair and then green eyes. I don't like not having a shotgun right off the bat. Because we got that shotgun right from that first at the, the, the gun store. Nemesis is like, oh, just me, Senpai, where Mr. X is just, I'm going to kill you, Mr. Senpai. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> it's a good reference. I like that. Such a slow emergency ladder. <laughs> If I should just take the ladder. Yeah, let's take the ladder. There might be ammo. If it's like Leon's, there could be ammo down here. And the handgun takes a lot to kill these things. Oh, wait a minute. What do we have here? Oh. I was hoping for a grenade or a shotgun. We got the grenade locked up. Guess I can't really complain. It's technically better than a shotgun, I guess. All side door locked. The doors can be unlocked using a card key. but I feel like this playthrough is going to be harder than the Leon playthrough. Right. Figured it would be, but I had to make sure. All right. but they moved the uh, 2236 ha I did remember the password I don't know if I should take the ammo with us right now because we don't have a lot of inventory space and some of the puzzles require a lot of inventory space Three, but kind of a lot. I wonder if her gun doesn't hold as many bullets, but more damage per bullet, maybe. What? That made the other one fall over. Gun, her handgun seems to have a little bit better punch. Although I do miss having the 18 ammo, the 18 rounds in it. Okay. Oh, can we pick the lock? You don't have to find those stupid little keys. Not where even. Okay, um. I think I'm going to put the first aid spray away because we got a triple green and a single green and if we find a red we can combine that with the single green so for now let's put this away I think this is where we started encountering liquors with Leon grenade hurt us if we were too close to it when we shoot? I 
seems to have been twisted off. I guess we know where Mr. X went. I guess the um the setup in the one shot the one off demo where there's the body on the wall and then the one like stuck hanging from the rafter was much creepier than just a body with the head twisted off. All right, it's around the corner. No liquor. I'm okay with that. I don't want to deal with liquors. Like, I like zombie games. I just... I don't like zombie games that have too many... Like, unique monster version zombies that aren't just zombies. Like, the threat of a zombie is supposed to be, like, the mindless, unending push towards you, right? Yeah, I don't hear anything but our own footsteps. to keep my mindset off of still everything because I think that would cause us to be without ammo for a lot of the game. It looks like there was a recent accident here. Operation report. All the incidences of attack leading up to the full-on outbreak. It's like next to nothing to find in here. When you think you're safe, you never are. Yeah, that, that usually seems to be the case. We don't have we don't have a lighter how are we supposed to open that without a lighter oh well, maybe we're not maybe that's just a leon puzzle okay we're gonna have to cut to the right like, right away I did, but I never got this far into it. Uh, what we ended up doing was Resident Evil Zero, the the PS4 re HD remake, and Resident Evil 1 PS4 HD remake. And we did it as... I think we did it as Jill for Resident Evil 1. But on Zero, we did the full playthrough. We, we played as Rebecca or whatever. And we did a little bit of the Wesker mission. But when we try to play as Chris, I got fed up and not didn't go further. So this is why this this ended up being my first time playing too. Was when we started playing this like three days ago. Oh come on! There should have been a way. Like if you run into them and go behind them, it should like push them away you shouldn't be ever in a spot where running into them doesn't at least like doesn't fully stop you like mr x yeah i can't push past him that makes sense but a normal zombie if i ran full like just right into him should have been able to like knock them around enough that it caused them to stagger and we could get through i think the room to the right requires a key and that's a save room at least but we'll double check yeah diamond edge There's not zombies here to fight. Interesting. I guess Leon already cleared them out. We're 
we're at the yellow orange that's like what second out of three cautions i think just before danger i'm wondering if we should just use the, the triple herb or just like maybe mix up a double herb so paranoid i don't want to die i am looking forward to, like i'd like to play resident evil 4 on stream that's one i haven't done yet special kind of I haven't, haven't streamed Resident Evil 4. It's been a long time since I've played it. So I'd love to do that one. Oh, screw it. Play it. I do not want to get killed. My friend Weeksy's come over for uh, a playthrough of Resident Evil 5 and 6. I, I would like to do that too. Which might require me to get the PS4 versions. I don't think. We have. He and I both have the Resident Evil um, 5 and 6 on the 360. But he doesn't have Xbox Live, nor do I anymore. But I do have my PlayStation Plus. So. I really liked Resident Evil 4 and 5. 6 had parts that were fun, but they threw too much into it. Especially like the like having three full trying to have three full stories for the single player. It felt like the other like they didn't do as good as they could have with uh yeah, the other two stories. Like the one where your um Wesker's son and Sherry was it Sherry Birkin, I think. I didn't like that one as much, especially since she's supposed to have this healing factor that she got from the virus and she has it at certain points in the story where it's like, how are you alive? It's like, oh, I got this. I heal well. And then, but if you're playing, you don't. And if you're going to have a story element where you say your character has got some kind of healing, incorporate that into the game. You know. Maybe she doesn't have those things where she can pop the Pez and get healed up for her, but she just naturally regenerates. So for her, it becomes a, a void. The knob turns, but the door won't butt. Seems to be sealed from the other side. Right, I remember that spot. You know what I mean? Like, things like that? So I... Thoughts. No, oh, isn't this where we meet up with Leon? I feel like it took us a lot longer to get to this point with Leon. It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. Her ponytail's in three parts. Here's his diary. This is diary. August 8th, I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-Virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. All right. Anyways, this is where you find out that he's gone to yeah. Europe. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. I'm sorry, splitting up seems like a stupid idea. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I don't think that even comes into play. 
Like, I don't remember us ever radioing Claire. Do we have to get the, the film again? It's trash. Someone must have searched the desk. So I'm guessing not because it's saying it's trash, which is not what we got when we did the hundred searches as Leon. Guess you can't get anything from the first aid. Or maybe it knows I gave that, I picked that up as, as Leon. A bow gun? That's different. Isn't this where we got the, the second shotgun? You miss playing Resident Evil 3? Three really good? Like I've I've seen it played, but I've never played it, so I don't know how well it controls. Story didn't seem too bad. I didn't like the nemesis bits, to be honest. From what I saw, but it might be different when you're playing it. That sense of being hunted by a nemesis. I'm fully up for playing three. After all. Ugh. Got the GameCube version of it right there. And then we got Resident Evil 4 for the GameCube. Although if we're gonna play Resident Evil 4, I'm not sure we'll play the GameCube edition. Um, we'll probably play the PS4 edition of that because I got the disc. Oh, it's two, check it out. Two of those cute little GameCube discs. Awesome. Let's... And of course, Veronica, don't ever play this game. At least that's my opinion. Played it until the game wouldn't play anymore at one part. Really? How's that work? Did, did you just get stuck or that literally that there's like a scratch on the disc and you couldn't go further? I really feel like the keys should not take up inventory space. They should just be on a key ring, like right, right below or something where there's that little line. It would be cool if it just showed you the shape of the, and the color of the keys that you have. How much room does a key take up, really? Wouldn't load anymore. That sucked. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Would the console still load other games? I'm gonna keep that Federal Police Department internal investigation report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. One, regarding the G virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc. So far, it is unconfirmed that the G virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. Two, regarding Mr. Brian Iron. Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Inc. Over the last five years, he was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case, along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons had been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing as such extreme caution is advised when dealing with him jack hamilton section chief internal investigation united states federal police department uh, see that's weird then because like i had some I, I have games on my playstation 3 playstation 3 works beautifully I can play my PlayStation 1 games on it, my PlayStation 2 games on it, because it's that version of the PlayStation 3. Not emulated either. It's, it's the, the original fat version of the PlayStation 3 that actually has a PS2 in it. So when you switch over, you have to reconnect your controller again. Anyway, um, it plays those discs, but it won't 
play PlayStation 3 discs because its Blu-ray laser is messed up. Uh, I need to replace the laser to be able to do disc games. But if I if it's downloaded games, they run perfectly. It's just it won't play DVDs anymore. I used it as a DVD player heavily. I watched a lot of movies on it. Oh shit. Ah. Oh, I was gonna be like, why would she scream? Help but We gotta find a thing to store stuff. We got way too much crap on us. Let's go save the little girl. Wait a minute. Ooh, that can't be good. I just noticed something. We had a follower earlier. Uh, Nelson Riley. I might have hit my 700th follower. I just want to double check this real quick. Because it's currently saying 699 still. But if we had a follower, that should have been my 700th follower. Seven hundred and one? What? Guys, we finally broke seven hundred! Yeah! Wait for it. Bing Bird one! Thank you guys so much. Making sure I pass that seven hundred mark. I've been like bouncing just below seven hundred over and over. It seems like every time I got a follower, someone would unfollow. So actually passing 700 feels so good. That's awesome. It's weird. The, the, the tool here still doesn't say it. Like it lists all the followers, but it still says 699. Um, but the dashboard itself lists the, incre the improved number 702 followers. Only two subscribers right now, but that's okay. That'll go back up over time. That's awesome. You guys are great. I'm so excited. I've been trying... Like, across the last year, like, 2018, my goal is to try to hit a thousand followers by by this year, but I switched the game games we were playing pretty heavily. Went from doing a lot of Factorio and RimWorld-style games to doing mostly RPGs and older games. And we did really good. Our viewership's been better, but... As much as we like, it seems like I didn't get much followers. I think I lost like 300 followers, but we gained like 400 followers across the year. So I would have, if I hadn't lost any followers, I probably would be at like a thousand now. But as it is, because of what I lost, just because of the changeover. But yeah, it, it was just looking at the straight numbers. It, it it felt like, oh man, I'm not making any progress. But then when I dug into the numbers more, it's like, oh, look, I have all these people unsubscribed or unfollowed and all these ones followed. So technically my followers did okay, but yeah, the follower. Yeah. We're, I'm assuming you're talking about how sometimes you just people spontaneously unfollow because you know, Twitch also made mad. I'll just call you may if that's okay. Unless you want made or mad. You let me know what you want to go by. If I grenade them, will it kill all of them? Let's find out. Apparently it won't do anything. Oh, they're different types of G rounds. Acid rounds. Okay, I want to try the bow gun. Powerful bow gun, primarily used to hunt large game. Actually, well, maybe I should save that for like liquors. Mad's better. Too many made jokes. All right. Are you sure you can? You, I'm okay with. I could use a maid. My room's. Not horribly messy, but you know, a little bit of dusting. Jim, those are the type of jokes you're talking about. A 
mad it is. Oh, here we go. oh, was there even anything down here to check out? You don't look good in a dress? Oh, come on. You're selling yourself short. I'm sure you have excellent leg. I used to. I probably would have looked amazing in like a maid outfit back in the day. But since I, since breaking my ankles and the nerve damage, I no longer have the shapely calves I used to have. I was actually, now this is going way back to like high school. I was a uh, buff picket. I was an uh, Olympic hopeful for um, short distance running and high jump and uh, long jump. Back before my I messed up my ankles by breaking them and getting nerve damage. Don't ever do that. It's not fun. But uh, I used to be able to jump my own height, which is impressive because I'm six foot four and a half. I get extra. My highest jump was six feet six inches. I only ever did it once though, but I never. That's when. Uh, had the, the, the option I could have started training to do like go for the Olympics, but I wasn't interested in going for the Olympics. It would have been way too much time spent training. Although uh, a friend I went to high school for with, he was an ama amazing athlete. He did do Olympic training. Oh no! It broke open. Wasn't that the one Leon? That's not going to be good. Always suck to sports. Go there with more flexible ankles. Well, ankles were my weak spot too. I've, I've, I've since broken both my ankles and uh, the first ankle, I didn't break them at the same time, thankfully, but the first ankle I broke, it, I, I blame the way the docs healed it because it was, it seemed to be healing up okay, but then, um, something they did, it ended up causing nerve damage and now it hurts all the time. Like, it feels like it's broken, but it's not. Which is why I only work part-time rather than full-time. I, there was years where the pain got so bad, I didn't work at all for a long time. All right, I need to check. Where is it? So first two, skip a blue. So off of blue, then off of gold, off of gold, off of blue. Let's go. So we want this one to go to the right. This one, go to the right. Hey, look what we found. Do I even have storage available? I don't. Uh, where's the closest storage? We go out and around for storage. I don't want to go up though. Not yet anyways. I think we're gonna have to go kill those zombies that are out there. So that we can pick up the items. That sucks, man. Losing functionality in your hand. Nice hurt, and especially on the hands. Yeah, man. Ah, ooh. You caught it and it... Oh, shit. 
Oh, let's find out what big game hunt things like. Did that just do like multiple arrows spreading out? And we need that too. Oh my gosh, we need to pick up so much stuff. That's acid rounds. I should probably say those. I want to go and store. That's what the purple key. Do we know where we need the purple key yet? Probably not. It's probably down to the right. All right. Well, let's go around, store some stuff. Then we can come back, pick some stuff up. We still have to get the other pink heart, right? First time I broke my ankle, the one that caused the nerve damage, it, I was at, thankfully I was at work, so for a while there, uh, I had WSYB coverage that helped over the, like the money, cause it got the, it got bad to the point where I couldn't walk. There's like five years where I couldn't walk cause the pain was so bad. It took me a long time to get like adjust and just get used to the pain and be able to ignore it. But, uh, you can go there. Probably keep the one key. I'm going to save the... Didn't the bow have eight? Eight? So it fires multiple shots per? I don't like that. All right, we're going to go pick up the two things and hopefully get the hearts we need. We'll go pick up that one... Uh, the disc, and then we'll use that to get the other one. This game doesn't seem to give you as much ammo as the original. So uh, enemies don't normally respawn, but there are situations where you'll go, you'll be in an area that didn't have zombies forever, and then there's zombies there. And there'll be in areas where some things, if you don't kill them with a certain weapon, they will get better the next time you come back. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a very limited ammo game. All right, let's go take that downstairs. That should give us the second of the uh, Virgin Heart red gems, which we can then use in that one room that has the liquor that we left. Which is kind of terrifying that we're going to go deal with that liquor. And my connection has suddenly gone unstable to Twitch. Been excellent all morning. Now it's saying unstable. But hopefully it's not too choppy for you guys it looks like it's just a slower frame rate but still pretty clear oh, clear image at least that's what it looks like on my iPhone which I use to monitor stream but yeah it's definitely very ammo shy I thought this was where we got. Never mind. The other red thing was inside that. Uh... How are we supposed to light the that fireplace to get the the red gem? I have a feeling that the bottom corner that's right near where my webcam is in the bottom left there. I think that's where all those zombies came in. Seems okay to you? All right. Hopefully it stays that way. Like the bit rate's still being good, but it's showing a red connection status and it's bouncing between 3,300 kilobits and six to 7,000. And it should be around a stable six. Wow, the game just got loud for me. No, my TV's volume a bit there. But yeah, one thing this, these, this series of games is good at, they'll make you feel like this is the safe way to go. And after a certain point in the game, that way won't be safe anymore. 
you'll go that way and there'll be zombies there or like a liquor will show up I'm guessing with this playthrough we might have to deal with Mr. X some more which could be a pain in the butt oh we won't be able to pick up that item yet because we found a key oh no we can we got room for a key I put the bowl gun away that's right all right let's go get whatever the heck this thing is The serpent stone. I don't think that's what we got when we did this as Leon. A six inch stone with a snake etched on the side. I have no idea where we're gonna need that. Pretty bad leg, but that's really yeah. It I find that legs been leg used to be really bad for me before Twitch got servers in Canada. Oh, here we go. I am streaming from Canada, which usually I used to add a problem because I'd stream into the states out of like. Uh, Chicago or I can't remember the Ant. I want to say Anaheim, but that's not the right one. One of those servers in that area. But now that Canada has, which has servers in Canada, I I serve I stream out of them. Nice connection. Like Toronto's like an hour and a half drive away, so I, I connect to them. A good connection. The other one's out of Quebec. But usually Toronto is a fairly stable connection for me. Have you played Silent Hill? Love the Silent Hill series. I actually think Silent Hill is better than Resident Evil. I don't own the PlayStation copies anymore. I, um, well, that was a game series that I played through. My, my sister and I played through together. She'd watch me play games. Start trying to use up some of these keys. I feel like we've missed a map somewhere. I heard the the HD remake of the Silent Hill wasn't that great because they changed it so that the fog wasn't so thick. But it's like that's one of the things that made it so great. Like you could barely see f like five feet in front of your character, and you really had to pay attention to the noise. Low gun bolts or bow gun bolt. I guess. 36. Okay. I'm guessing the low gun ammo isn't that strong. This can't carry anymore. C4. Boy. We gotta go find. Here I thought we weren't going to have to do film with Claire because we did it with Leon. Alright, uh... Well, we're near the safe part point. Let's go put some stuff away. Silent Hill 2 and 3, there was an amusing flashlight glitch. On the, the remake version, like the HD remakes? That's kind of sad. I have Silent Hill... Downpour, I think it is on 360, whatever the 360 Silent Hill games are. I think I have them. And one of which, like Downpour, I only have part way, play through part way. Okay. I'm gonna put. We need more inventory space. They more so removed the fog. Well, I think it's what it is. is 
The fog used to be because they had to limit how far you could see just because they couldn't load the whole city on the old console. But I heard what it is is it's they actually made the fog like transparent uh, rather than like a, a an actual thing that blocked your view completely and they extended its range so you could see further but it's like why like one of the best thing was the ambiance that it caused like I, they should have somebody should have spoke up during the play testing all i need now to destroy the wall being blocked by the helicopter is a detonator Ooh, so that's what that's for okay But I like how like they, they those were really good scary survival horror game like or just horror games right? Let's look at the map. Okay, that leads us towards that one room. Let's go develop the film first so we can free up some more inventory space. I got so used to having the extra two inventory space thanks to Leon and that lag pouch or whatever that gave two more inventory. Pictures in front of the Arukis Taylor. We're regressing to a zombie within two hours. That sucks. No, it's been filed. Yeah. I heard there was a Silent Hill game on the I think it was the Wii or the Wii U, where you had to take pictures. That was apparently a decent. But I never played it. I didn't use my Wii very much. I think I'm gonna store the plastic bomb until we find the detonator and then we can go blow up the wall. What are those? Can't remember what four is about. special key. Did we ever unlock this in the other playthrough? I don't think we did. I'm thinking maybe we should put the grenade launcher away and go with the bow gun actually since we have so many bow and arrows. I heard it was, it had like a connection to the original game, but it wasn't so much reimagining it as like, it paralleled it. And so it's kind of like, you got things from a different side. But I don't know how accurate that is. Like I said, I never played it. I heard it's really good. I don't know. So many newer horror games don't work as well as the old ones. In my opinion like uh the only modern horror games that i've really i've played in love i'd say dead space dead, dead space is probably my favorite survival horror game dead space one anyway um alan wake was amazing and then after that the only good survival horror games are like older like fear is a good one i guess for a first person shooter But otherwise, you're like, you have to go back to Resident Evil and Silent Hill, the original ones, to get the good games. Bioshock was pretty good, but it wasn't, I didn't... Bioshock 1 had that scary feel. To me. Whoa, what the hell? You shoot, like, multiple shots at once. It's messed up.
There's the detonator, I guess. Alright, we can blow up that wall now. Whew. This would be pretty good. I haven't played 7, but I, you're right. I've, I've heard it's really, really good as well. Um, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Just going by that, that one-shot 30-minute demo, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that game. Isn't this supposed to be where... Oh no, that's the other room, isn't it? I was gonna say, isn't this supposed to be where the safe is? But I think that's on the other side. Yeah. In the room on the right there that has the door to the left, and it will go up, it's in that big space there. Okay. Oh, there's a herb I can't pick up. Any ammo? There we go. Oh, the letter welcoming Leon. Resident Evil 6, like, they became much more action, action-y games, true. Um, I, I still, I really liked 5. 5 was really good. The online multiplayer for 6 was good, like the, just the, where you go around, shoot the zombies and collect, like, get the things for points and try to do that. Where you're working with a friend. That was fun. I didn't like the competitive play online for 6. Yeah, it does that message like every half hour, so I might switch that message to be longer. But you know, I want I want the Discord to grow. I want I want this to be a community where we all come together, hang out, and play games. Talk about nerd culture in general. That's why there's the writing section, there's the sharing section for art. There's the Factorio specific section, because that used to be a big thing on the channel. And it will be again when Factorio um Version 17 comes out. I'm going to be playing that some more. Uh, tell you what, let's drop off that. We'll go pick up the other green herb. And then we'll go try to use up these keys. Try not to save too often so we get a good score, but I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I'm thinking it might be worth having more than one chat type channel just to try to just so you're not when you, if you come back and there's a lot of messages to go over, not to be overwhelmed by what you need to read. That's why I want to have like channels for a specific topic like that's why there's one for writing there's one for um there's the otaku den for talking about anime stuff like that if we get like a bunch of people that are really into comics and want to have a section for talking about comics i'd create a a, a chat channel for that as well kind of a one can't play horror games on my own but you know yeah i i love horror movies and horror games and that but they are more fun when you sh it's a shared experience. That's why it's always that I'd play through them with my sister. And we like go up into the family room on the big screen. This is back when they were new, so there's only like one big TV in the house. And We'd find like a fact on Game Facts or something, and you'd read that so that we would get be able to like we'd play through, and then we'd do like we'd try to get 100% afterwards follow fact. But usually our first playthrough would be blind. It's fun. I had a lot of really good memories playing through those. 
Great hands better with horror games than I am. I think that's it doesn't get better in the game. That's what like games are the best if you can let yourself get fully immersed and absorbed into the game. That way it's it feels so much more real and visceral. Oh shit. Holy shit. Not good, not good, not good. No, no, no. no. So he's dead. That went bad. <laughs> the generation thing she didn't grow up with. Oh, there's no way that, yeah. That could be it. I remember. Haven't really been really scared by movies or games since I was really young, but I think it's partly because of how I got introduced. My mom, when I was young, would not let me watch horror movies. So the only time I got to watch a horror movie, the first time I got to watch a horror movie is one of the times where I went to visit my dad. Um, Cause my mom had separated from him when I was like three years old. So I think this, I was like six or seven years old. I hadn't seen my dad for like, must've been seven. Cause I hadn't seen my dad for like four years. And uh, my sister and I went down to his place and he had he, he had one of those rear projecting TV that was like a 60 inch TV and he he was watching uh child's play I think one of the child's play movie I think it was the first child's play because it was, it was new at the time I think I could be wrong though but I was like really young so this is like in 1990 the big TVs were were a rarity but uh he's like well your mom says you're not allowed to watch horror movies you know that she's like so if you want to watch you're going to have to watch from the top of the staircase in the hall so that I can, so I can pretend. So if your mom asks, I can say, I didn't know you're watching. And so I, I sat at the top of a dark stairway watching child's play for the first time when I was seven years old. And I didn't know this, but my, my uncle Kelly was downstairs watching the same movie because my, he had, he was an electrician. He had set something up where Whatever was on the TV upstairs, you could go to an input on the TV downstairs and watch the same thing. I don't know how he did it, but he he's an electrician. He did all kinds of cool stuff like that. But uh So I didn't know he was down there, but apparently my dad let him know. And about halfway through the movie, he snuck up and it's one of those kind of staircases that were like really wide and it would go down and then have a land a halfway landing go across and then come down and get like six more steps and it was old house right he snuck up and while i'm watching the movie being freaked out by the movie he grabbed my ankle and pulled me down the stairs scared the shit out of me but uh since then i haven't been movies don't tend to scare me that much i, I still really like horror movies and i like to watch them but uh, since that heart attack, I think I had when I was like seven years old because of my uncle. I think I ended up kicking him too, like because I was freaking out and spazzing out. But yeah, that that's my introduce introduction to horror movies. Um, also, I'd visit when Doom was new. I'd visit my uncle. I'd go to hang out with my uncle Dale, and he was big into computer games and all that. And he'd have Doom. And I wouldn't be able to, like, playing Doom upstairs on my uncle's computer in the dark, like, with the lights off and just playing the game, get to the point where after a while where it's like, I can't play anymore. But this is when it was brand new and I was, I was young, right? So it's like, but since that, like, again, it's, it's almost like it inoculated me a bit. I'm, I'm not so terrified of those games anymore. <laughs> As much as the graphics weren't big there, like 
is the sounds were really is there no safe spot in here i thought there was supposed to be a typewriter like over here guess not i guess it's just storage okay well then i'm not saving we can go below up that wall i still don't know where to use the serpent stone and we need one more red jewel i like the silent hill movies but they're not that scary they're just a fun watch because they're they're done they did them as let's make a video game movie rather than let's make a horror movie based on the video game and there was a long time there was a while there where like all video game movies were kind of given that treatment of like oh this isn't really a real movie this is like a nod to the video game and a campy type thing whereas had if they'd done an actual horror movie out of it it could have been really awesome at least i think so does mean that's a puzzle game for his 11th birthday and his got him phantasmagoria <laughs> i've heard of that game i've never played it you watch okay there's been one instance of a game recently well relatively recent this is when resident evil i think it was resident evil 6 when it came out it scared the crap like it caused like it wasn't so much it scared the crap out of me it caused me to go like a chill ran out of my back and i all of a sudden was like i was also i felt cold and it was like goosebumps up my arm and it's because there's that spot where Ada, the ada clone loses control and she takes over the the ship and she's like moaning and calling out the name like she's going she's in there she's like derek oh derek i'm gonna get you i didn't pick up while playing that game that the bad guy's name was Derek. My name's Derek. All I know is all of a sudden Ada transformed and took over the ship and she's calling for me personally. And it's like, what the fuck's going on? Pardon my language. I don't like swearing on stream, but that's how much it got to me. It's like, holy shit. Like it got to the point where I like, I had to pause the game and been like, okay, I need a moment. And then I went through and played through the section and I told my friend Weeksy, but I'm like, man, that section was so creepy. All of a sudden it was calling my name. He's like, what are you talking about? No, it wasn't. I'm like, dude, seriously, Ada mutated and she started calling for me personally. I don't know how they did it. Because there was a lot of things at the time where it's like, that's where some PC games were starting to do things where like it could access your microphone or files from your computer and it'd use that to get information on you or something like that. Like that was a, a gimmick a few games had started doing on the PC at that time. So then it's like, oh my God, I don't know how they did it, but they know it's me. They freaked the crap out of me. And then I explained to him, he's like, no, he's like, the bad guy's name is Derek. I'm like, oh, well, that kind of takes the scare out of it a little bit. Yeah. Um, wait, actually. We got those keys. We still have to check that room on the right. There's still that room on the left there we haven't gone. But I think that room is going to be... 